Let's take a look at the lesson. Which bar graph is correct? It says, in a box of building blocks, Chloe found nine rectangular pyramids and seven cones. Which bar graph corresponds to what Chloe saw? So looking at these, I see we have two different bar graphs. One shows rectangular pyramids and cones, and the other shows rectangular pyramids and cones. We know that Chloe found nine rectangular pyramids. So we need to find which graph shows nine rectangular pyramids. So here I see rectangular pyramids and it goes up to the number one. So there is one rectangular pyramid here. The cones go up to this number, seven. So there are seven cones. We know Chloe found nine rectangular pyramids and seven cones, not one rectangular pyramid and seven cones. All right, let's check the other one. Let's see how many rectangular pyramids. All right, I see that this one goes up by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Well, this is right in between eight and ten, and I know that nine is right between the numbers eight and ten. So that shows nine rectangular pyramids. And here it shows the number that is right in between six and eight, and I know that it goes six, seven, eight. So this one shows nine rectangular pyramids and seven cones. So this is the correct option. This one says, Addison loves making graphs. At the sphere store, she saw one soccer ball and five grapes. Which bar graph corresponds to what Addison saw? Well, here I can see there are soccer balls and there is one soccer ball because it goes up to the number one. Here I can see that there are five grapes because this goes up to the number five. Here we have soccer balls and there are seven of them because it goes up to the number seven. And we have five grapes because it goes up to the number five. Well, we were looking for one soccer ball and five grapes, not seven soccer balls and five grapes. So this one is correct. One soccer ball and five grapes. Great. This one says, at the zoo, Austin saw nine elephants and eight chameleons. Which bar graph corresponds to what Austin saw? So Austin saw nine elephants. Here are the elephants. Let's see how many are here. Well, I can see that this is right in between eight and 10. And I know it goes eight, nine, 10. All right, now chameleons. This is right on eight. So we can see that he saw nine elephants and eight chameleons in this graph. And that is what he saw, nine elephants and eight chameleons. Let's make sure this other graph is not correct. This one shows that he saw four elephants. Well, I already know that that's not correct because this one shows he saw nine elephants. So this one is correct. At the zoo, Mackenzie saw two sharks and three elephants. Which bar graph corresponds to what Mackenzie saw? Well, I see sharks here. Let's see how many sharks. It's right at the two. So this is two sharks and this is right at the three. So there's three elephants. That looks correct. Two sharks and three elephants. Let's check the other one. This one shows five sharks and seven elephants. Well, I know that that's already too much because she only saw two sharks. So this is the correct one. At the zoo, Ryan saw six elephants and one chameleon. Which bar graph corresponds to what Ryan saw? Let's see. Here's the elephants and there is six. Here are the chameleons and it goes to the number one. All right, so this looks like it. Six elephants and one chameleon, but let's check the other one. We're going to go from the top straight across. There's 10 elephants and one chameleon because I know this goes zero, one, two. 
All right, so it is this one. The next one says, Dahlia loves making graphs. At the Sphere store, she saw 10 disco balls and three soccer balls. Which bar graph corresponds to what Dahlia saw? Well, here I can see that the disco balls were right at the number 10, and the soccer balls were right between two and four, and I know our numbers go two, three, four. So there were 10 disco balls and three soccer balls. Ah, that looks like it matches 10 disco balls and three soccer balls. Let's check this one. This is right between eight and 10. It goes eight, nine, 10. Well, I know that nine does not match the 10. And how many soccer balls were there in this one? Two. Well, the two does not match the three either. So this is not the correct one. This one is 10 disco balls and three soccer balls. This problem says, in Michael's kitchen, there are eight plates and four teacups. Which bar graph corresponds to the contents of the kitchen? Well, the plates here reach to eight. And the teacups here reach to the number four. So there are eight plates and four teacups, just like they wanted, eight plates and four teacups. Let's check this one though. This one has, ah, 10 plates and five teacups. I know it's five because five is right in between four and six. All right, so it is not this one. It is this one. Alexander's mom gave him a chart of the fruits he needs to buy. The chart has six apples and five grapes. Which bar graph corresponds to what Alexander needs to buy? All right, here are the apples. This one shows six apples, and this one shows five grapes. We just follow the line straight across. So six apples and five grapes. That is what she told him to buy, six apples and five grapes. Let's check the other one. 10 apples and five grapes. It's the right amount of grapes, but not the right amount of apples. They wanted six apples, not 10 apples. So this is not the correct one. So it is this one. Alexander's mom gave him a chart of the fruits he needs to buy. The chart has five bananas and six oranges. Which bar graph corresponds to what Alexander needs to buy? Well, the first one shows five bananas and six oranges. So that looks correct, five bananas and six oranges. Let's check the next one. This one shows seven bananas and eight oranges. So this one is not correct because they needed five bananas and six oranges as shown here, five bananas and six oranges. All right, in Alexander's kitchen, there are 10 plates and three teacups. Which bar graph corresponds to the contents of the kitchen? Well, here this shows one plate and two teacups. That is not enough. They need 10 plates and three teacups. Let's see this one. 10 plates and, well, I know two, then three, then four. So I know this must be three. So three teacups, and that matches 10 plates and three teacups, just like 10 plates and three teacups. So this is the correct one. Thanks for all your help, my friends.